So I worked on the Roadrunner a little bit over the weekend and a little bit last week. Uh, I got the mag now and you can see it's there. It's just sitting there right now and I got all the plug wires here with the uh, protective covers on and the numbers on the wires. So now I've started on the uh, wiring and uh, first thing I'm going to do is install the uh, power grid because that pretty much uh, you know controls everything and the delay box I got that in there so I put a little panel in to hook up everything off the wire off the uh, power grid and then I can run wires from there <coughs> to uh, uh, like the trans brake and the line lock and the tack and things like that uh, a little bit of a spaghetti factory there by the dash, it's got to get cleaned up yet. Um, but uh, I need a few things to finish the wiring. Um, there's a wire that hooks up to the mag here, and the one coming off the uh, grid is not long enough, so I got to get an extension there. Uh, pretty much for the wiring, I think that's all I need. So when I get that extension, that I mean that I won't be able to fire it up until I get that. But it's, it looks a little messy right now. It'll all get tied up neatly yet. Uh, oh, ignition switch and starter button will go up on the roll cage there. So I got to get a good starter button for it. But uh, everything is going together good. Turn the power on here. Seems to turn the power on, tail lights go on. And if he wants headlights, I can put in a switch for that too. But uh, the lay box is powered up now. And the tram brake will work. You hit the button here on the steering wheel. And the delay box comes off and on. So now I just basically one wire to the trans brake itself, the solenoid on the transmission. So that's pretty simple. Uh, starter button there <coughs> to uh, turn the motor over from the engine compartment. Pretty straightforward. <coughs> There's a button there. It's got to wire it in. <coughs> I made the mistake of not bolting that starter on before I put the motor in. Uh, you cannot get the starter in there or out of there with the motor in. Uh, so what I had to do is I had to take the, the back plate off the starter here, the mounting plate, slip that in and then slip the starter in and then put it back together while it was up in there and then bolt the starter on. So that was not fun, but uh, I wasn't about to take the motor out again. So, and I'm still waiting for my welder. I've been using my old one there just to weld the steel. Welded the bracket on here for the for the uh, fuel shutoff bracket. But what I'm thinking of doing is just getting a, another piece of aluminum and just welding it to the motor plate here and then just carry it on over to the mount. And then it'll be just a solid piece and then, uh, you know, we don't, I don't have to fabricate any uh, uh, motor limiters or mounts or anything like that because I mean this thing has had you know 2500 horsepower in it before and it worked fine that way so but uh, my battery's getting low I'll charge it up and uh, I'll carry on yeah, you got the battery all charged up uh, I did a little bit while the battery was charging uh, I've installed the uh, sensors for the data logger and I made a little bracket here to hold all the, the uh, plugins together. They just, this is the main cable coming from the logger, and then they just plug in together. And then they can also plug another one in there if I wanted to. I would have to make a bigger bracket, but I don't think we're going to be doing that. Um, there was some coolant plugs in here in the, in the cylinder heads. I removed those, found the steel pipe plug welded a bolt to the steel pipe plug 
and then I just bolted the uh, cylinder head temperature sensors to that. So when I got them on both sides, so we should be able to get some uh, cylinder head temperature off of those. And then it's got the oil pressure switch. I know you probably can't see it. Maybe if I get a light. Oil pressure switch is back there. And we've got the boost sensor right here on the back of the manifold. And then uh, the oil pressure is where that's where I was going to put the holes in initially. But uh, I got one to fit just above the filter there and then just loop the hose around to the gauge. So we'll have, he'll be able to monitor the oil pressure with the gauge and then we'll also be able to see the oil pressure uh, as, as the car is going down track when we review the uh, data from the logger. Uh, I'd like to get EGTs on here too, but uh, I don't really think we're gonna bother with that, at least not right away anyway. And I got the cable extension cable coming for the mag so uh, now it's just a matter of finding a place to mount the logger um, I'm thinking probably just you know once these wires and stuff they're all tied up I'll probably just mount the logger right there where it's nice and flat um, probably good as place as any because it's got to plug right into the to the grid and uh, I don't have a very long extension cable for that, so uh, and then we can just pull the SD card out right from right from where it's mounted there. So I think that's a good spot for it. Uh, I gotta go, gotta go to town and get some uh, dark blue wire. I want to try and keep these wires uh, coded according to the instructions, so that if there is ever a problem. That's all we got to do is go back to this, and it's got all the wire colors there. So I got a light blue uh, for the line lock, and that's all I need here is the dark blue for the uh, trans brake. So I want to go see if I can find some dark blue wire. Uh, I'm gonna get a light on in here. Oh, you can see here's the. Here's the light blue, and that's hooked up to the uh, line lock there, so that the grid will limit the RPM when he's on the line lock button for the burnout. And I got the trans brake hooked up to the delay box there, and that is supposed to go into. Oh, the trans brake wire will go on here directly to the trans brake. And then that wire will go down to whichever one, oh, to the dark blue, down to, down to here. So that's all I need is a, a dark blue wire to go from there, and then a dark blue wire from there, all the way around here, around through the dash, up and down to that red wire that's there for the trans brake. And then uh, that should be it for the wiring. Oh, I got a wire in the uh, throttle controller yet too, but that's easy enough. That's that just goes into that blue wire also, just to uh, turn on and off the uh, CO2 cylinder for the throttle. And then the tack, I'm really not sure. Like that tack has got a lot of stuff coming out of it, and the, the grid will control the shift light, so we don't really need that fancy, massive tack in there. It's really all we need is just a simple tack and a shift light, so uh, I think I might have one here, so we might try that because we really, that thing is, it's crazy that tack, I mean you can view uh, data on it, but we have the logger so we don't really need to mess with the tack and that thing is confusing as hell, so we haven't been able to figure it out yet. I figured out how to program the shift lights, but that's all I've done, so I don't know, maybe we'll just hook it up and use it, we'll see. But uh, yeah, and this is the main main cable here for the logger. Plugged into the logger, then the logger will plug into the grid. So I will uh, carry on. Oh, I also got a a burst panel coming for the intake manifold. It's going to go right in here. 
because uh, the one that I have, I just got the cage kit and I didn't get any of the burst plates and I didn't get the panel that fits to the manifold so I got that coming. And I got a starter button coming and uh, this, excuse me, the switch is already there so um, a little bit of wiring left to do and as soon as I get that, that burst panel I'll take this manifold off and uh, machine shop can hog that out and there's got to be an opening here uh, to let the pressure out. If there ever is a backfire or something, then we want to make sure that we don't split that manifold in half. So we got to run that burst panel, and it's also required by NHRA and IHRA to have it. So that's that. Other than that, uh, right now I'm just on hold waiting for some stuff. So that's all I got for now. You're learning new tricks, buddy? Here. Oh, oh no, back up. Sit. Sit. Down. No. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Down. 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 Good girl. Yeah. <clears throat> One more time. Up here. Come on. You gotta get up now. Okay. No. Back up. Oh, I didn't see it. <laughs> okay, good girl. Yeah, that's a good girl. You're so smart. Mm -hmm. You're learning, eh? Yeah. I got no more. That's it. That's all I got. Yeah, you can smell them in my pocket, though, eh? You can smell them. Okay, get out of here now. That's all I got. <laughs>